Okay, we're getting into the graphs now. We're going to graph y equals 2 to the x minus 4. And we want to find this information, the intercepts, and also the horizontal asymptote. Now, if you look at the examples previously in the notes, one of the examples I did was graphing y equals 2 to the x. So I don't have a video for that, but you can look in the notes. I do a table for the graph of y equals 2 to the x. And we did all that and put the numbers in. And we got this as an example here. The number it's basically going in this direction, it goes through 0, 1, and it keeps on increasing, so that's what your base graph is going to look like. We need to use transformations, which means that these are transformations are things that we do to the graph to shift them up and down or left and right. This, the problem we're doing is y equals 2 to the x minus 4. So that means that we're going to take the base graph and we're going to shift it four places straight down. And so the, the amount that you're shifting down, that's going to actually affect your horizontal asymptote. So when you look at when you want to answer that question there with horizontal asymptote, you're going to have a y equals there as part of your answer. You need the y equals because it's got to be an equation for a line. And then whatever number comes after the exponential part, that's what you're going to put here for horizontal asymptote. So you don't, you don't use 2 to the x, but we are going to use the negative 4. So right here, your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals negative 4. Automatically, again, comes directly from your equation. So now that we have this, we're ready to do the intercepts. Your x-intercept is where you put in a 0 for y. So instead of using key points that we did previously, instead of trying to memorize all the key points, I think it'll be easier to just solve for it, plus it gives us practice for using equal basis property that we talked about uh, in a previous video. X-intercept, y equals 0, so I have 0 equals 2 to the x minus 4. I need to isolate the exponential part, so I'm going to move the 4 over to the other side. 4 equals 2 to the x. And I want to use my equal basis property that I talked about before to, to uh, solve this one. The 4 can be written as 2 squared. The bases are equal, so now we're going to set the exponents equal. We get a 2 by using equal basis property. So x-intercept is going to be 2. Next, we want to do the y-intercept. Y-intercept is where we put in a 0 for x. So y equals 2 to the 0 minus 4. Anything raised to the 0 power, we talked about that before in a previous video, anything to the 0 power is 1. So what you're going to get here is you're going to get y equals 1 minus 4, and that's equal to negative 3. So therefore, negative 3 is going to be your y-intercept. Now that we have all this information, we're ready now to do our graph. So we do the graph here, we're going to first go down to 4 and we're going to draw in a dotted line because that's going to be our horizontal asymptote. Horizontal line crosses through at negative 4. Our intercepts, I have crosses, at, crosses the x-axis at 2, y-axis it crosses at negative 3. So now I have this graph is going to look the same as the original one to the x graph. The only difference is I'm just shifting it down four places and then again that's because of the minus four on the outside. Uh, any number on the outside is your up and down movement. Anything that would appear up here in the exponent position that would be a left and right movement. But this one we're basically just moving it straight down and our intercepts will actually tell us again about the shape of the graph. So the intercepts will usually will tell us enough information to know what the general curve is to look like.